Jackson's in East Bay Funk there. Great. He you know, get a chance because in game, not many guys in NBA history have done it. So, you know, it's rare. So, it's pretty cool. Darvin was saying you guys see that a lot, though, in practice. I mean, he's, he's got a quick, easy athleticism pop off the floor. Yeah, I, it was the first time he did it in the game. So, you know, we were super impressed because he, he was super casual with it. But uh, he has that. He has that ability, obviously. What's the value for you guys at this point of the season for you and AD to get you know, most of a fourth quarter off and have at least a little bit of a lighter load? Does that make a difference at this point of the season? Of course. Yeah. yeah of course. I mean, can't say and say not. I mean, obviously, the game dictates itself when you play the game. However, you know, however, you know, the chips may fall. And that today we had an opportunity to bump the lead up in the third and uh, and start the fourth. We kind of kept it going early on, and then. We shut down, so that's good. We know that you and, and Mike and everybody always have a plan, uh, but you know, with with the back to back, how are you feeling at this point about tomorrow's game? Um, it all depends how I'm feeling tomorrow. You know, obviously, I feel you know, I feel like I just played a game. Obviously, you know, prepared that way, so that's how I feel tomorrow. The way this game wrapped up, you've been able to sub out early on in the fourth quarter and I guess start the process of prepping for tomorrow. Does yep. that help, or how does that help? I guess it absolutely helps. Every minute counts. So. Uh, Able to get back here and get get going on the treatment and, and on my prep to start preparing my body, hopefully for tomorrow night. LeBron, how have you seen your reactions here in Toronto evolve over the years? I think people are kind of scared for a minute there that maybe you wouldn't come out, and then the place kind of exploded when you came out after the. It's always been mutual respect and love every time I come here and play here. You know, throughout my career, they show me nothing but love, even throughout the battles in the postseason, whatever the case may be. Um, these fans are always appreciative of myself, and I just try to always give it back to them when I step on your floor. The, the bench scored only two points in Brooklyn, um, and it hasn't been maybe a consistent source of punch, but what did you see from Spencer in terms of aggression from Torian? And then, um, obviously, we mentioned Jackson, but Max, too. Um, you know, it's not always their job to come in and carry a big over scoring, but we know the ability of Spence, he can get it going. We saw what he can do. Uh, we know TP can get it going at times. You know, especially from the perimeter, but tonight he was super aggressive. And then, um, you know, Max, when Max has gotten his number card, you know, he's always stayed ready, even as a young kid. We love that he's always ready to come in and give us you know, a punch. So that was, it was good to get him going tonight for sure. The guy you teamed up with to win a championship in 2020, Rajon Rondo, announced on a podcast that you know, he hasn't been playing the NBA for a bit, but he said he's not going to come back to play. Mm -hmm. When you think back to his career, what, what do you think was the mark that he made? Um, he was a contemporary of yours. Um, you know, a really accomplished NBA player. Uh, one of the best players I ever played with. Obviously, his IQ was out of this world, and uh, you know, it was very. Uh, I was very lucky to get the team up with him. You know, at that point here, and when I was in LA, obviously, you know, being in LA and you know, him coming to the Lakers, I was ecstatic about that. I knew we could accomplish together. Uh, Bill always talked about if he ever teamed up with me, he knew we could win a championship. You know, we did that. And then just, uh, you know, being a fierce competitor throughout my career when he was in Boston, obviously, you know, our battles that we had when I was in Cleveland and going to Miami. So, um, guys, just, he got everything out of his career and more. You know, two-time champion, multiple All-Stars. You know, a couple years, he maybe led the league in assists or was up there. Just a uh, spectacular player. Last two. LeBron, do you have to comment on the report that Bronny potentially has been in the portal? Um... Well, I don't know where it came from, but at the end of the day, Bronny's his own man. And he has some tough decisions to make, yeah. and uh, when he's ready to make those decisions, he'll let us all know. But as his family, we're gonna support whatever he does. Thanks. Last question. Bron, uh, the, the Wizards uh, beat the Bucks tonight. Uh, so, just kind of quick thoughts on, on the matchup tomorrow. What's the, what's the top line item on the scouting? Don't don't turn the ball over because um, that fuels home teams for sure. It gets the crowd involved. We got a defensive rebound. If we're able to, you know. Um, you know, stop them in one possession. We got to clean the glass, and then we got to keep them off the three-point line. Um, you know, because they, they shoot the ball particularly well. You know, from the three-point line and get back in transition.